Uh, Shana, what's your favorite place to work when you're doing row? Uh, in my living room or the library. Back Not then. outside? Nah. Uh -uh. We're I used to love... to this? Yeah, this is Animal Kingdom. Let them have their house. Right. We can have our house on the inside. Fair enough. But I used to love the library and now it's yeah. closed. I'm worried that you're going to drop your laptop. Yeah, me too. This, you is, look why very I, this is why I don't work outside. <laughs> Role stands for Results Only Work Environment. And basically what that means is that we meet as a team once a week on Mondays. And then after that, everybody is responsible for doing their job. And the next Monday, we follow up on the work you did the last week. The hard part about it is that I am a night owl. So I'm up to like 4 a.m. And we'll get, get up at 5 a.m., which is ridiculous. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and so I had to learn how to communicate with him and do my own schedule. So if he wants something on Tuesday, I would have to do it Monday night. And as the executive director, I think that that's a really a great way to motivate your team and give them some autonomy because we know from COVID that going out every day is a bit excessive. Row works really well when you have a bunch of grown-ups, right? It does not work well if you've got the vibe of, I'm just going to try to work as little as possible yeah. while still getting a paycheck. Like row falls apart if that's your approach. Yeah. So it depends on grownups being grownups and it depends on good communication. So question, will you change row or stop row when you become executive director? No, I'm the, the main needer, is that a word? Needer, of beneficiary. Row. Beneficiary. All right, in the midst of making that video, I realized that it's weird to talk about row as this unique thing when the COVID-19 moment has put a lot of people into a work remote kind of role. Maybe that's you, uh, but that's not all that row is. Results only work environment. You focus on the results. Doesn't matter where you're working from or when the timing of the work is happening, as long as you're hitting your deadlines. The key distinction though, between kind of working remote and row is that we don't have an official vacation policy. So you can take as much vacation as you want as long as you're getting your objectives done. What that actually ends up being in practice is that you still end up with around the standard two to three weeks a year um, because there are so many objectives, there are so many things you're trying to achieve. Um, but you have the flexibility of doing that whenever. And it also means during your average day, you can clock out at a random time to go get your oil changed or take a kid to a doctor's appointment, which is very nice and very flexible and works with people's schedules. So back to the video. Thank you guys. So row is great for me because it allows me to work when I can. Flexible. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are kind of, so one of the downsides of row is that you don't have a lot of formalized HR policy, right. like documents, things like that. And we are putting all of that together right now. Yes. Um, and one of the needs is to have like a written out um, maternity and paternity and adoption policy for yeah. families that are growing with your staff members. Yes. And we have one of those family, one Yay. of those, we have one of those folks right now. Um, and so we, you know, we had on, on paper like the state requirements, but we don't want to do the state requirements. We want to do more of uh, a generous and kingdom minded um, approach so we are writing that into the policy yes so it'll be like row with that kind of added on but yeah so we run most of our programs run with the school year and so we have to be cognizant of when we take vacations or um, like for example my birthday is in August right but my classes start September the 1st so I do a lot of my birthday celebrations if they're out of town early in the summer or early in August because I know that I'll be working around my birthday time. And so you have to be cognizant. That's why it's important to work with people who want to work, who want to do the, the, do the work, and who understand kind of how to plan their life around that to make Roe work together. I would say a weakness of Roe is um, we miss out on time together that builds culture. Should we like play laser tag or go like on? I'm all about, see you won't be able to go, <laughs> but I'm all about a fun retreat situation. Wait, you want to take a retreat? Not like go away let's to the do, mountains. Let's We're do, not going let's, to the mountains. Let's plan no. a corner corner retreat. It's gonna be something fun. Twenty twenty one. We can go glamping. Yeah, that sounds. Twenty twenty one corner corner retreat. <laughs> Y'all, row results only work environment. 
Um, what kind of work environment do you have at your office or your nonprofit or wherever you are? It hasn't um, changed since COVID. Let us yeah. Know. And honestly, I will say a benefit of this is we rolled really smoothly into COVID. Yeah. Because we we're so used to that remote life. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you like these videos, um, please subscribe. Yay. We're getting there. Yes. Our subscribers are going to be great, but really I think you should subscribe. We're going to pitch the subscription. You should subscribe because you're going to get a lot of information not only about running a nonprofit, but also teamwork, and you're going to learn about us. So, yeah. Like what and tell you and on an uh, episode coming up, what kind of boss is Shayna going to be? The best boss.